Welcome back to the next video. In today's video, I will show you how you can apply custom fonts for your text in React Native, both for old architecture as well as new architecture without using any third party library. So applying custom fonts in React Native is extremely painful, but I'll make sure that uh, you, you can easily use it. So all you have to do is I have created a React Native application over here. Next you can download your custom fonts from google fonts or any other websites which uh, you like once you download that font what you will have to do is open the android folder in android studio ios folder in xcode so here is my android folder next what you will have to do is go to your app inside android folder make sure you are in the android drop down go to your app right click new folder click assets i have already created it click finish i have already created it so i won't click on finish again okay once you create that inside the assets folder create another folder called fonts and inside fonts you can directly add your font okay uh, if you are from native android you might be uh, worried or you might be saying that why you are not creating a fonts folder and also fonts should have a lower case name it can't have dash but this is a little uh, different for react native so for react native uh, we don't need to worry about having the fonts in smaller size uh, we don't have to worry about this dash which is present so in react native you can directly copy paste your fonts within the fonts folder itself so inside the assets folder create a fonts folder and inside that font folder itself you will have to copy your font okay don't change the name that is only for native android uh, once that is done for ios open the ios folder inside xcode so here just again create a fonts folder and here you will have to copy your font okay so i have copied my font next what you will have to do is you will have to go to info.plist and here you can see i have added this key as ui app fonts here you will have to add an array inside that array if you have multiple fonts you will have to add multiple strings but i only have one font that's why I have added this font. Also make sure you add this uh, extension for your font as well. That is also important. So if you want to see as a source code, sorry, as a property list, I can show you that as well. So here you can see fonts provided by application in item zero. I have added my fonts. Okay. Once that is done, uh, you can directly go to your React Native app. Here you can see I have taken a text and you can directly refer to the font family as whatever is your font name. That's it and here you can see that font property has been applied for ios and it has applied for android as well yeah that's it thank you for watching bye